Thanks. Oh Hello, people. It's my birthday, everyone. Welcome back to another video. Today is Thursday, January 12th, and I am turning the big 27. I cannot believe that my birthday is already here. I feel like my birthday was just yesterday, but here we are. This last year was a roller coaster. Definitely a roller coaster. Lots of great things, lots of just, you know, life things. And overall, I feel so thankful. Every birthday, I'm just filled with so much gratitude because it's like another year of life, you know? And I'm so thankful that I get to see another year of life and celebrate another year of life. And 27 is feeling like it's gonna be my unfiltered year. 27, I'm going to challenge myself more intentionally to let go of a lot of limiting beliefs that I have been holding on to unfiltered in the sense of like I'm not gonna limit myself or judge myself you know that's what I'm feeling like 27 is gonna be unfiltered unashamed unapologetically me and I'm excited I'm very thankful God is good thank you for seeing me through another year of life God this year is gonna be a great one in Jesus name <laughs> Um, and I'm starting my birthday off on such a great foot. I'm on my way to have breakfast with my parents, which is like, I could cry right now, literally. I just love my parents so much. Why am I crying? <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> no, but I just feel so, like every birthday I get to have with them, I'm so thankful. And it worked out because I have a facial appointment at 11. <clears throat> Excuse me, what was that? Um, in like near their area. So it's gonna work out because I can breakfast with them and then I'll do my facial and then I'll come home. And I'm really excited for my facial. Guys, I think this is my first facial since my 21st birthday. Because the last facial that I got, no, I'm lying. I got one like three years ago, I think actually. Yeah, like three, two or three years ago. And then before that, my last facial was when I turned 21. So I'm not really a facial girly. I don't get my facials done that often. But this year, I had sent Eric, like, this girl that I really wanted to go to because she looks like she works magic. And I sent it to Eric, and he booked me one for today at 11. So I'm very, very happy about that. It's an acne facial, which we're not even going to get into that. But y'all just know my skin... It needs it right now so we're gonna do that at 11 and I'm excited um, and yeah that's basically the vibes for this morning I'm just feeling grateful expected and hopeful hi guys are done. This is so crazy.
Alrighty, facial is done and my skin is a little bit stressed, but I know that it's totally normal because those extractions hurt so bad. She said give it about 24 to 48 hours and then the swelling will go down and the redness will go down. Um, but overall, I totally needed that. I feel like I need to be getting those um, at least like once every three months because the way that my skin already feels like it feels unclogged like it felt like she literally just sucked everything out that needed to come out and didn't belong there and like there's areas of my face where I used to have like bumpiness and texture and it's like already gone because she literally like got rid of it it's crazy and she gave me some good recommendations for aftercare like what I should be using for moisturizer sunscreen cleanser all that good stuff so i'm excited to try that i'll probably have to introduce things one thing at a time because y'all know my skin i introduce one thing and then it reacts so i need to do one thing at a time so that i you know can just make sure that i'm being mindful of my skin and its reactions but i'm excited for that i'll probably go pick up some things tonight for my new skincare routine and yeah it's about lunchtime right now it's 1 45 i am about to go have lunch with my girls we're doing a little birthday lunch and i'm excited to be celebrating with them to be surrounded by them they're literally my heart and my soul and i love them um so we're going to do some lunch i was gonna pace myself with what i ate today in terms of like not getting too full at each sitting because we were gonna do fogo de chow tonight which is like um it's like a brazilian steakhouse where it's like oh you can eat steak but guys i just want to be home like i don't want to do anything i really don't want to get dressed i don't want to go anywhere like that's my vibes for this year so i think what i want to do for dinner is just order sushi in put a movie on and spend the evening with eric in the comfort of our home in our pjs maybe pour a glass of wine and just unwind that sounds like the perfect birthday night to me so Wait, really quick, I just need to say, this is my dream birthday, babe. Is it really? What about the simple queen? <laughs> I'm like, I'm in the comfort of my own home. I have a nice little drink. I have sushi. I have my daughter and I have you. It's all I need. I genuinely feel so like full. And we're about to watch the best season that I, I've heard is the best season of Ginny and Georgia. How many seasons are there? Only two. So far. We're going to watch the second one. We just ordered takeout from our favorite sushi spot. And I'm about to eat some. We're going to watch season two of Ginny and Georgia, which I'm excited about. I'm team Zion all the way. If you've watched Ginny and Georgia, then you know the love drama that's going on. I just finished season one, so... Um, so far from season one, I'm team Zion. Just because I felt like the thing he said about, if you watch, you know what I'm talking about. But the thing that he said about, um, you're my home, Georgia. Let me come home. That was so sweet. And I fell in love with him ever since. But a lot of people have told me that they're team Joe. So I'm excited to see how Joe's character develops in season two. Because I feel like his love for Georgia wasn't really like emphasized in season one. So I'm excited to see what season two holds excuse me what season two um holds but i'm so happy are we gonna cut a cake later yeah we got the little bun bantini yeah i really i think i want dessert today and i knew she only belonged to me like we had a secret as a kid i used to what you reading something angsty and emotional hi could i please do a grande triple shot over ice with a splash of almond milk uh, do you guys still have chestnut praline? Yes, we do. 
Awesome. Can I do two pumps of chestnut praline? Okay. And then vanilla sweet cream cold foam. Okay. That's it. Thank you. Okay, caffeine is secured. I feel like no vlog is complete without me getting Starbucks. But I promise you, I have not been going to Starbucks as much as I usually do because I've been making my coffee at home. Today I just did Starbucks because I got some gift cards for my birthday. Shout out to everyone that is contributing to my coffee. I don't want to use the A word, but you know what I'm trying to say. It's truly my love language. Like if you make me a cup of coffee, I will love you forever. But that's why I'm getting Starbucks today. That's why I didn't make coffee at home. Because I was like, let me put these gift cards to use. But I'm on my way to get my nails done. I feel like a naked mole rat whenever I don't have my nails done. Oh, the sun is really out here. And I know what I'm doing to my nails. Usually when I go to the nail salon, I have like a ton of Pinterest things saved. But I don't know which one I'm going to do. But today, I've been eyeing this design for a few weeks now. So I already know what I'm going to do. I'm going to do like these little sparkles with a French tip. Because I feel like... It's giving birthday, glam, new year, new glitz, you know? Yeah, that is what's on the agenda today. I'm going to do these nails because I really need them. This is uh, what my nails look like right now. They're just bare. So good. I haven't had coffee today. Woo! That's what I needed. Um... I was gonna say something. Oh, and I'm also gonna get a pedicure because these toes need help as well. Yeah. Do I look like I'm drowning in my jacket? I do, but my jacket is, here I am. <laughs> I've been wanting to try cutting out dairy completely because I wanna see if that is affecting my acne. But at Starbucks, it's, I can't get cold foam without like the whole milk that they put in it or the heavy cream. And I really love the cold foam. Like it really makes my coffee just to the next level so i'm struggling with that because i want to figure out how i can get cold foam but either with almond milk or oat milk i don't think they do that because cold foam is already pre-made i think or um the other milks don't have enough like fat to become foamy it is such a beautiful day today it's nearly 50 degrees outside and the sun is out it's shining it's a new day i'm feeling great I did oversleep for my workout this morning. I was supposed to work out with Eric at 6.15, but I overslept. So I think I'm gonna try to make it to the 4.30 class because I really wanna get a workout in before the actual weekend starts because I know this weekend I'm not gonna be working out. Um, so I'm gonna try to get one workout in today because I really wanted to work out, but I just couldn't get out of bed, guys. I could not do it. Saturday I'm getting ready to go to dinner I literally have not done anything today last night we had dinner with Eric's family and then after that we were just like playing games you know enjoying family time and they spent the night so this morning we just um, did breakfast and then literally I've been sleeping all day just like chilling relaxing just how I love to do it is currently 4 27 and i'm getting ready to go to dinner we're gonna do dinner at fogo de chao since we weren't really in the mood to do it for the day of my birthday we're gonna do it tonight and we're gonna do it with our family it's gonna be nice but it's really cold outside so i'm not like dressing up i want to wear sweats but you know i wasn't gonna be that casual i really wanted to though like deep inside i really really wanted to but it's just not appropriate because fogo de chao is like I would say it's like a pretty casual spot. So I'm going to wear 
a blazer over this sweater and then I have tights on and that's gonna be my fit for tonight because it is for reason outside. I'm using this blush that my girl Jen got me for my birthday. It is the Mario Makeup by Mario Earthy Pink liquid blush. I love the tone. I love mauve blushes. I don't really like super like um pink blushes. I like more like mauve toned ones. And I feel like this is a really great like wow, I definitely put way too much. But it's fine. I'm a blush girly now though because I've been doing a lot of blush lately. Okay, update on my skin since the facial. My skin's texture it has improved so much. I don't have a lot of the bumpiness that I had and I had like a lot of little white heads. Like I don't know how to explain it, but I had like a lot of texture. And I feel like the texture has definitely improved, but I feel like my scars are even worse than they were before. Like, especially on this area, my scarring looks so bad. And I wonder if it's like, because when you get a facial with the extractions, it's kind of like opening up a wound, you know? So I'm hoping that with time it improves because I don't think my scarring was that bad when I went in there. But I guess it's like a good thing because it's allowing my scars to come to surface and to fully heal. So I really want to order the Desi Vitamin C, the Claro C Serum, because when I used that, I used that for like a year and I saw such great improvement on the brightness of my skin and like my complexion and just my overall scarring. So I really want to get that soon because I feel like that I need it in my life. I need to get rid of all of this scarring that I have going on. But even like the way my makeup is applying right now is so different to how it was just a few days ago y'all i'm 27 that's crazy that is so crazy all i wanted for my birthday was to relax and to chill and i feel like we did just that but just like reflecting on 26 i feel like 26 was a great year but i genuinely feel like i'm stepping into a wholesome version of myself like a confident like I was thinking back to like my high school days and in high school I was so like confident and like social anxiety like I didn't who was she I didn't know who that was or what that was I feel like for the last few years I've been I have felt like crippled in that area like socially I'm just like so in my head I'm so like hyper aware and it's very draining and I feel like this year like I'm challenging myself and I feel it like I feel like I'm coming back to being like myself and not caring what people think or like you know just being very like obviously aware of how would I describe it like yeah just like living out of like living my authentic self like I told you guys before that's just what I'm feeling for this year and what I'm challenging myself to live from. And I just want to live with intention. Like everything I do, I want it to be with intention and the right intentions. I don't want to live for people. I don't want to live for people's approval. I want to live for myself, you know? I don't think I'm going to do lashes. I think I'm just going to do mascara because I just don't feel like dealing with lashes today. All right, you guys. So here's what I'm wearing. I'm wearing my Air Force's with tights my sister actually just got me these for my birthday too so i'm estrenando today i have my air forces tights this black sweater i threw on a blazer and then this white scarf from asos and then i just did a slip back bun because i'm gonna wash my hair tomorrow so it's a little easier to style like this i forgot to mention we're doing an escape room after dinner so that's why i wanted to wear tennis shoes to be like comfortable but then oh my god that one scared me but then um, the blazer is, you know, casual. So this is a fit for tonight. Air for ski. Oh, guys, go first. Okay. 
Uh, you say this when you want to make love to somebody, but you don't have a lot of time. Cookie. Cookie. Um, make love to someone. Um, <laughs> sometimes when you want to take a nap, your body will show it by making you tired. Yawn. Mm -hmm. Um, um, the Kardashians have probably got this. It's a procedure BBL. that uh, Reserve, takes away um, liposuction. Yes. Um, uh, 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 time. uh, 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 how many you got here? Oh, let me count here. Let me count here. Let me count here. Dang, One, well, you two, did that. Three. So, Eric, you, you're gonna, you're gonna, eh, eh, her. Okay. Yeah. Is this seven? Eh. We're doing the pink side. Yes. Yeah. Pink. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Go. Um, they do this when it's when you're eating out somewhere and the kitchen is gonna close. Uh, last call. She said closing. Well, she okay. said close, closing. This right. happens when. She's choking. Okay, um, 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 when you can't move something, like for example, your neck. It's stiff. stiff. Yes. This is, um, sh there's a, a movie, there's a show on um, Netflix about this. Um, Stalker, you. It's about, um, what the heck, why am I blanking? It's about drugs, <laughs> drug lords. And Narcos. Columbia, uh, just the first part Jack of the word. Narco. No. Narc. Yes. Um, this happens when you when you have on. Um, I'm just gonna wait it out. <laughs> the time is up. What is that? She's so funny. The time is up. Because if you skip, you lose a point. I don't know. Yeah, if you skip, it cancels one out. Oh, so okay. So what if I No, I promise you, like, I've been so slow lately. No. <laughs> <laughs> How many was that? This was visible panty line. Oh. oh. But you couldn't say pants, underwear, outline, skirt. Oh, we got three. Okay. Sorry, I'll do better.